Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been a little MIA um, and I'm trying to work on that. I promise I'm trying to work on that. I'm actually trying to be more on top of things. So I want to like, you know, be posting regularly and all of that. I have a lot of great content that I still want to upload for you guys. So I promise I will be more in the mix. If you are a subscriber and you've been here before, welcome back. If not, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel before we proceed with this video so today for you guys i'm basically just gonna be doing like a mini chit chat get ready with me um while i also teach you guys how to be like a baddie on a budget you know if you are into makeup like that or if you are a makeup guru or self-proclaimed makeup guru you will know that makeup can somewhat be expensive and that's why i want to just show you guys you know that you can look good or feel like the bad bitch that you want to be and not have to spend a fortune on it so i'm going to be showing you guys the products that i use every product that i'm going to be showing you guys well i'm not not all of it but most of it i bought at um this camp. okay so first things first the foundation i'm going to be using is the maybelline fit me so i have this one and then i have the super stay by maybelline as well um, I like Maybelline foundations. They're affordable and they have good coverage. And then I'm gonna be using these concealers from Revlon Colorstay. They really are really, really good. So I would recommend that you really do like spend on these. Highlighter today, I'm gonna be using this Glow to Go by Essence. I've had this since last year. You actually see being pretty used i only use this one that was my nail that went into that one by mistake these ones I, I haven't figured it out but i really like the gold shimmer in this one so i usually just use this one also very affordable and anything by essence is like good and affordable i'm gonna be using this color palette today it's by beauty treats color obsession eyeshadow booklet um it has really pretty colors i think i've only used this like maybe two times since i bought it i'm not big on like eyeshadow i tend to just stick to the neutral colors you know some a nude lip like some lip gloss um uh, lashes you know just the typical stuff but today today i'm going to go all out i really want to try and do like a smoky eye I don't know how it will come out i don't know how it will look but me and you will figure that out i'm gonna put a picture of my install like right so here that is the look i am trying to go for and then the rest of the products oh hold on i forgot to show you guys my brow pencil the brow pencil i'm gonna be using is from revlon so it's called the revlon color stay brow brow. pencil in the shade 220 dark brown okay so i think that's pretty much it for now um the rest of the products i'm just going to show you guys as i go or as i remember to use them because i have a lot of products but i never know what i'm going to use until i use it you know so yeah let's get started so first up i'm gonna moisturize my face i've already washed my face hence it looks you know this is not how it looks all the time it's just i think it's like the product that i use i'll wash my face and then for like 30 minutes i look like oh my gosh and then boom i'm back to my normal usual basic self i usually use ponds for my face and i'm just going to use this to moisturize because it has um spa 30 spf 30 pa i don't know what all of that means i just know it has sunscreen so we out here moisturize and then I'm gonna use this eye cream from Mario Badesco. I put the, I bought this when I was abroad, so but I'm sure you can get it online if anybody is interested. I will list the products below. So yeah, it really does look like my eye used to be so dark. And now it's not anymore. Like it's not as dark as it used to be. listen listen it might just be the ring light i think it's just the ring light but 
Okay, so I'm gonna do my brows first because I usually start with my brows. They take the longest to do. So I'm gonna add some more concealer on my eyes so that I can start with my eye um, look. Now guys, I don't, I usually don't um, wet my blender just because I feel like, I know a lot of people say that it works better when it's wet. I prefer mine dry, like mine works better when it's dry for me. I know you want to do like a bright eye, but I think I'm just going to stick to my original smoky eye because I'm actually also curious to see what I'm going to look like with a smoky eye. I don't want to do like a black, black outer part of my eye because I don't know how it will look, you guys. I, I'm so like paranoid. So I think I'm just going to do like a dark brown. Adding this pumpkin color because it's a bit orangey brownish. Okay, so I'm going to start with... I like to um, put a setting part on my brush before I actually use it. A friend of mine once told me that it works better if you do that. So I have this small setting spray. So I see setting powder and a setting spray. My eye like has eyelash glue on it that's like been stuck for days. And it really irritates me. It looks very orange on camera, but it's a bit more to the browner side, like in real life. You know, this is how I know I'm already messing up because I'm actually supposed to start on the outer part of my of my eye. It is, it is what it is. I'm going to use oak. This brown. And I'm going to put that at the outer side of my lip. This is not a tutorial. This is just me showing you what products I'm using. Please, please do not be like, oh. it's cool that not even know how to put on my tie. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take just like a, a slightly lighter color and just put it like on top of, the color I'm going to put on is buttermilk. Is that one? I don't know if I should put it like in the middle. No, definitely in the front. It's not looking too bad, right? I think it looks. I just need to like blend it in a little more, and I think it could like work out. And then once I put like some shimmer, you know, because glitter fixes everything. So this has got to be like one of the darkest eye makeup I've ever done. I don't know how it's gonna look when, when I end, but hopefully it will come together. Okay, so I'm gonna do this eye and then I'm gonna figure out what um, shade of shimmer I wanna use. If it's more to the golden side, more to the, you know, orangey side. So I'm just gonna start and do, like I'm just gonna do it on the side how I did on the side, even though I know eyeshadow is supposed to start from the top in. Okay. Shop. So <laughs> I will even feeling myself already. I need to relax. Yeah. And then I used oak. You guys see I have like eye eyelash glue. <sighs> A whole is eyelash glue. I hate it here. Like I used to get a lot of um, eyelash extensions last year, and I mean they're great. But the thing about eyelash extensions is like once you start, it's you gotta do it all the time. Otherwise, your lashes will literally like start to fall off. And then next thing you know, you don't have any lashes left. So, so yeah, I did it the first time. The first time I did it, when was it? I think it was like around March last year, February, March, somewhere there. Because my friend had already done hers and I was obsessed with hers. But the girl who used to do her was, I think, 
over like she was booked or something or so, I, I can't remember why i didn't go to her first no no why does one eye look better than the other or is it just me okay let me just finish this so i found this page on instagram it was called i can't remember what it's called and um i was like okay let me give it a try because like they paid like their lashes looked like legit looked on point so i was like mm, let me go there let me try and i was dating at the time so i asked um my boyfriend or my ex to take me there and it was so far like we drove like almost an hour from so he took me and i got there and you know this girl was so sweet she was like oh you know it's your first time what was like yeah you know i just wanted to try it out yada 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 and you know we were like talking and then she did the lashes and i mean they looked nice when she did them obviously because i looked weird if you're not used to having lashes you're gonna find them weird like the first few times you do it or like the first first time you do it because it's it gives your eyes like it makes it look a bit heavy in a way like i don't know if i'm making sense but it just looks like heavy and it just looks like you have like a lot of mascara and it looks weird if you don't have makeup on and you know your eyes start to look a little bit dark it looks like you have eye makeup with no other makeup on it just you know it looks a bit weird but you get used to it eventually so um yeah i was like okay looks cool but i didn't obviously know the difference then because it was my first time and then i was so excited and now I, I, I texted my friend i was like yeah so we, we, we had made plans to go out the powder is falling in my eye and you know i sent her a picture i was like because she was she was like so proud and she was like yeah so i got lashes i got lashes go out i was like yeah so we went out and then i met up with her and you know she was like oh because I, I didn't really like the lashes or the way it looked like because it was way too curved. Like, my I like the lashes when they look, you know, like, we need to be flapping when I talk. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, her, her lashes were way too curved. And um, I was like, you know, because I told my friend, I want mine to look like yours. Why do not look like yours? And she was like, I don't know when she uses like different lashes or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. So then that was that. And then the next day I woke up, guys. And my whole pillow was filled with little harikis. And I'm just like, what? I paid $4.50 for this. Why are my lashes falling? The next day. Imagine. I was so upset so upset they literally lasted a week and then they fell off all of them and i was like i never went back to her i never went back to the baby girl but i did wish her well and i really do hope you know her business continues to boom but it's not gonna be from me like so yeah at least do my eyes look the same I think so. Let me make it a little bit darker just to give it some puma. So yeah, and then I never went back to her and then um I started using the girl who my friend goes to. It's coming together, it's coming together. Um okay, so now I'm gonna do like a little shimmer. Okay guys. I think it looks good like I think I did well. I think I did a good job. I'm gonna do my lashes at the end. Just because it's gonna be like a grand finale, you know. I want you guys to see the difference of like you know me being made up and then me really being like made up, made up. I saw a tweet that said, you know, your makeup goes from girl to girl with lashes, and it's true, like it's like lashes take all the difference, like your I love lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. So 
I usually like put some oil just because um, I used to prefer my makeup very matte but sometimes I want to take a picture or I want to like film or take a video and then I start looking way too white so now I make my face dewy so if you have an essential oil you can just use it on literally can be any oil or this glow like a natural glow type of thing that I want to do so that was the highlight and I want to do the contour <laughs> If you didn't know better you think i'm like you know makeup makeup artist like but it's like a real one i am not beloved apparently that is supposed to give you like a chin or whatever and so sometimes i just see things on the internet and i decide to try it out now i've got a double chin so Anything that makes my face look skinnier than it really is is amazing. <laughs> I never used to like contour the top of my forehead, but guys, it actually makes a difference. Yo, it makes such a big difference. Like, if you know, you know, like it makes a very big difference and if you are like me and blessed in the forehead department you know five head gang it's like takes a like it makes a difference it really does and also it takes away from that um foundation like you know like the foundation lining yeah okay now i'm gonna do the um powder contour you know i i've had to learn how to really like highlight my face with powder properly so it doesn't make my whole face too dry so i'm just gonna do like the side of my nose my nose um becomes very oily so i'm going to have my t-bone section i used to do a lot under my eye but then i learned that um when i do like the whole under eye like my whole um face becomes too dry and i don't i don't like that when i do i'm just gonna like just like gradually set it do you guys see a difference may i see a difference i definitely see a difference okay so while this bakes i'm gonna zoom out lashes so the lashes i'm gonna be using are these they're mink 3d lashes and my little sister is actually the one that's going to be selling them she started a lash company so i'm actually doing like a little promo for her it's called beauty mark lashes i'm gonna put it down below and also please check out her instagram and follow like you know support local businesses you know what i mean so i'm gonna be using this this is age 39 i think they're very like cute and very me and they are so i'm gonna be putting them on i can do it on camera guys i don't i wasn't actually gonna but if you guys insist i will do it for y'all and then we can both just um struggle i usually use tweezers you know but i've recently discovered that i can just do it with my hand like i can put on lashes with my hand and everything will be okay Okay, so while this one dries, I'm going to put the glue on the other one so that when it's time to use it, I don't have to wait. Guys, honestly, nah, like lashes make all the difference. Yo, if you're not like a lashes type of honey, honestly, I don't. It's fine. Like, you know, we all have our own preferences. But, but if I can give a suggestion, get on the bandwagon. Like, honey honey you are missing out they just take you from like okay you know you look cute to <laughs> what's my name you know 
guys i'll show you guys like i'll show you guys i'm gonna show you guys i mean i will use i will use the tweezers because you know they're very important but i'm to put it on i'm just gonna like do it by hand first i've struggled like putting on lashes lashes putting on lashes for me it's been a learning process and you want to make sure it's like really low so that your own lash so that there's no space like in between your own lash and um the lash extension okay so it's pretty much on but to make it like sit on i have to use the tweezers just to get it where i need it to be now you can decide to put mascara um like before you do it or after because obviously my original lashes got dirty because of the eyeshadow so i'm gonna put it after i'm done <laughs> i just i need to emphasize this like guys guys do you do you see do you see let me just so there's this and then there's that okay i'm gonna put on, i'm gonna put on some mascara on this one just to give you guys like you know a vibe for you guys to see it i'm not being dramatic i really am not being dramatic i mean listen mascara works too okay like i said if you're not a lash type of hun it's okay i'm not like sucking down on you or anything i'm just trying to put you on girl like oh my gosh so but yeah at the end of the day it's just personal preference i guess so i'm just gonna put on here because i didn't put on on my bottom lash just for it to be dark This is with mascara, you know, looking cute or whatever, you know, I can see your eye makeup, what, 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 and then boom. What? Are you talking to me? Who, me? <laughs> Guys, listen, lashes are it. Period. No one's going to tell me different. Like, okay, so now I'm going to put on the other lash and call it a day. Okay guys, so now that both lashes are on, I'm gonna do my bottom lash mascara. <laughs> Honestly, if you don't open your mouth and put it like this when you do mascara, are you even normal? <laughs> this is what my makeup looks like. Let me um dust this off. This is off. I'm just gonna do like a nude lip. Um, I'm gonna do my usual lip gloss, lip liner, and just, you know, a little bit of a pinkish color. So, um, for my lip, I'm gonna be using this Context Liquid. I got it online. It's like a lip gloss, but it has like a nude color to it. And I really like it. I will use it with normal lip gloss just so that it's not too much, but I think it's actually matte a little bit. I just like dab it a bit. Do you see it's like very like and then i want to use the lip therapy from discount okay so for the finishing um touch finishing last your last touch guys i'm gonna use this highlighter um I don't really think I'll be using blush today just because my makeup is already so like but my face just is not complete without blush and I really like blush my fridge. I'm actually so proud of myself guys because I never like this is the first time I've done my eye makeup like this and it looks good like you know, I honestly just amazed myself. I didn't know I had it in me. I should definitely start doing more eye makeup just to get like 
the hang of it and get used to it a little bit. So I'm just doing just a little bit. You need to like, with blush, you need to like be careful because you'll think you're not doing anything. The whole time it's actually going on and then if you keep just keep putting, keep putting the next thing you know, like your whole face is pink and I look like a clown. You look like the clown that you are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Guys, guys, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna fix my hair. You know, just complete the look and then I'm gonna show you guys the final and complete look. And yeah, like guys, this is it for my final look. I'm definitely feeling like a fatty. I look like a fatty. I'm obsessed. <laughs> guys, like, yeah, I hope this video helped. And I hope you guys, you know, go out and check out some of these products. Because there's really a lot of affordable products out there. You don't have to spend a fortune to, you know, look like a fortune. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and check out my socials at precious double i um, on Instagram. I'll put it down below. And yeah, like you can also leave some comments um, under this video that I'll read. You know, can you give me some tips and also, you know, just let me know what you did enjoy about this video. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Please, please do stay safe and do stay home okay i see y'all so yeah bye